We'd like to welcome you here today, all family and friends. Today is, is definitely a day to celebrate what God has done. I'm Kaden. We've never dreamed that we would go through the adversity we've been through to get here today. Through it all though, I've only been reminded of what a privilege it is to marry you. In the early stages of our relationship, I remember fearing you'd turn away once you saw the messiest parts of me. You always looked at me and said grace on grace. Taylor, you are so loved and so valued, and I'm so thankful to do life with you. You're my best friend, and you're the person I want to look forward to seeing every single day. You make me believe more in myself and more about the good that exists in this world that so often makes those things hard to find. Please rise. Knowing you has shown me a glimpse of what heaven is like. If you love me in this way, then I can't fathom how much God must love us. Who gives this woman to be wed today? Your mother and I. Our marriage is built on and for the sake of the gospel, and our individual pursuits of Christ allow us to continue loving each other better each day. Taylor. From this moment on, I vow that in times that are good, in times that are bad, in times of health, in times of sickness, through every mountain high, valley low, and all the journeys in between, I will every day strive to love you a little bit better, a little bit stronger, and a little bit more than I did the day before. And I promise to strive likewise every day to look more like Christ than I did the day before. I promise to choose you each day. And love is a choice in the same way that Christ chooses us. I promise to put your needs before my own. Jesus shows us that love is an act of selfless sacrifice, and I will strive towards that for the rest of my life. Kaden, Taylor, through your commitment to God and from the family and friends and God himself, it is now my pleasure and honor to represent to yourselves, you as husband and wife, and Kaden, you may kiss your bride. Even as the storm has raged all around us, I still feel steady when I'm with you. Seeing your steadfastness and grace and thoughtfulness during the season when you can be forgiven for not responding nearly as well has made me so much more sure you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Katie, you are my best friend. It is one of the greatest honors of my life, apart from knowing Jesus, to walk alongside you from this day forward. I love you. I am so thankful that you choose to do life with me every day. And every day I will work to love you in the manner you so strongly deserve. Right up to the day that death do his part, I will love you as Christ loves the church. It is now my pleasure to introduce to some of you for the first time, some of you for the second time, Mr. and Miss Caden Kirtley. I met Taylor four years ago during our freshman year of college, and if you would have told me back then that I'd be giving Taylor's maid of honor speech at her wedding, I probably would have asked you, are you sure about that? You see, there was this weird little group of us in our sorority member class. Taylor was part of our group, but the whole first semester she was kind of a mystery. It took some time, but slowly she opened up to us and we were let into the world of friendship with Taylor McClary. And wow, what a world it is. Taylor is everything from compassionate, joyful, and thoughtful to goofy, vulnerable, and firm. She balances it all so well. When I was a sophomore at OU, 
And I don't know what happened, but all the leaders bailed. So they called the campus minister as a part of it, OU, and asked if someone would be willing to come and spend the night with a bunch of high school seniors. So I showed up and met Caden. And fast forward to the next year, I decided I was going back and living in the dorms so that way I could tell the guys in the hall about Jesus. A week before school started, I got a message from Caden telling me that he, not only was he coming to OU, but he told me where he was living and it was right across the hall from my room. And then I pitched the idea to him about, why don't you come back and be my roommate? And that was truly one of the greatest years of my life. Once we finally met and got to know Caden, it was that, oh my goodness, there are two of them reaction. Caden is every bit as caring, patient, funny, and honest as she is. Every time I'm with him, I'm just thankful. <laughs> I'm thankful that my best friend has someone by her side. Someone who can make up for when she's too worn to be thoughtful, too weak to smile, and when she just needs someone who will speak truth over her. I haven't known you nearly as long and nearly as well, but the way that I've seen Caden talk about you and pursue you and love you, it's been really cool and really encouraging. Leading up to your wedding, seeing this just commitment to truly being willing to lay down his life to love people. And, and I'm excited to see him do that for you for the rest of your life. I just really love you all and excited about this. So. To, to you all. It took some time for us to get to know Taylor McElderry, but I can't wait for all of us to get to know Taylor Kirtley. Apart, you both are extraordinary people, but together, in Christ, you're unstoppable. Super team. I love you both so much, and I'm excited to see what marriage has in store. Taylor Kirtley's.